Okay, so I can't even cap. Like, no cap, truthfully. <laughs> it was a brutal release this morning on Fear of God's website. And we're going to talk about that. Did I grab anything? Uh, what I think happened. But we'll do that after I head to this hair appointment. Yeah, I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days, I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take a hit and still finish in one. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Uh, yeah. Did you learn anything this morning? I learned as much as I love my brand new orange fear of God hat. I dislike equally the drop that occurred this morning on fearofgod.com. So let's talk about it. Uh, thank you for tuning in to another video. Talks with TJ, AKA TJ2 swoosh T Yeezy. Thank you again so much for tuning in. And, and yeah, it, uh, didn't go well this morning. That spinning circle it spun and spun and spun and just <laughs> gave us no chance. And we finally got in. I got in about 20 minutes later. So 10, 20 and a lot was already sold out. I'm checking through everything harvest and Amber and it was already sold out like smaller sizes gone. And let me just break down in terms of the colorways and sizing for who was actually available today. So remember the fear of God website hosted the drop for fall winter 2021 today, September 1st. And we didn't know necessarily what came for uh, adults and kids sizing. So the Amber, which is more of the mustard colorway and then harvest, which is the Brown um, and even pistachio. So those all came in adult sizing but the one that a lot of us were interested in the matte blush only came in kid sizing so unfortunately this go round uh we didn't get that now will we receive it on friday i have no idea because remember the global release is on friday which means you have a chance to go on pax on nordstrom and um essence and wherever else you shop for fear of god essentials to pick up items then so no matte blush for adult sizing and a lot was already sold out by time you got into the site so i'm browsing trying to figure out what i have a chance to get Thankfully, um, I, I got Harvest sweatpants in my uh, cart and I said, you know what? Let me play zero games. Let me not play around, not hesitate. Just go ahead and check out. So I checked out, no shipping added. And so I at least have that secured, but that's it. <laughs> That's all I secured today, a pair of Harvest sweatpants. So I'm really hoping to luck out on Friday. I'm probably just gonna go the Essence route because it honestly makes more sense. Like I, I know it's spelled like sense, but it makes more sense to go the Essence route because faster shipping, great customer service, and I'm not gonna wanna rip my hair out, which I just got done. Um, like PacSun, just, we know how that goes with PacSun. I don't wanna deal with it, but I just feel like bots probably ate up so much of the stock um, when everything first dropped. And that really just, we, we stood no chance. Like that's the unfortunate part. We stood zero chance. I mean, it was just spinning and spinning and oh, just, if you follow me on Twitter, you uh, you know how I felt because I was just really just going through and I'm already on very little sleep today. Why am I on little sleep? Why? I can't talk right now. Why am I on little sleep? Well, um, if you were not following along, so Nice Kicks, Hibbit, and Nike um, all did a project together called Support Her Soul, really highlighting what women are doing within sneakers in a number of impactful ways. This entire project um, is ran and uh, orchestrated and operated by a uh, true size agency. So... I was fortunate enough and uh, just super grateful to be part of the project. So the trailer that you all saw on uh, my own Instagram today and shared a number of different places. That was me. I was the person behind the scenes doing the editing and it's a dream come true to work on another Nike project. And I'll have like another video on Saturday. That'll be pretty important, I guess, to break some things down, but uh, very humbled and grateful. So yeah, when you're doing things for projects like this, there is necessary, there isn't necessarily sleep. Like when the, when the deadline is tight and you have deliverables, you have to get them done because somebody else on a team is depending on you and you got to play your part. You got to make the shot when you're called on to make the shot. And listen, I'm just grateful. I made the shot. <laughs> 
<laughs> so please be sure to check that out if you aren't already. Um, if you weren't familiar with, you know, Nia and B, just make sure you check them out. Awesome lady. So glad to, to be in the company of them. So Jazz Ray, you are the real MVP. Thank you again so much. And Nice Kicks for uh, being a champion for me to be part of this. So I was already in a little sleep and all I wanted were my essentials and and did i get my essentials i got one one piece so uh not all hope is lost i think some people somebody had a really good suggestion they use friday as kind of a way to gauge what's available and what they'll actually spend their effort going after on friday during the global release i think that's a great way to approach it it's probably a little less hectic um i i normally don't have as many issues i guess last time i did have an issue trying to check out on fear of god but that i just went through the shop app it was no problem so go through the shop app for sure but when which well, i'm assuming bots got in what can you do so that wasn't uh that wasn't fun i know a lot of you felt the exact same way uh but i gotta look at the bright side of things so if you recall, remember Monday, I said, hey, I passed on an Alele May 6 millennial because I was paying on a student loan. Well, actually, that loan is now paid off in full. So I had, I had forgotten that I was so close to paying it off when I went to go submit that payment. Hey, paid off in full, which is a beautiful thing. Now, my loans are not all totally gone. I still have a bit of work to do, and I'll continue to diligently do that work, and you guys will get to follow along with that. But uh, the forbearance period has been extended, so that grace period extended past September 1st. Remember, at first, it would end August, and payments would restart September 1st. That's not the case anymore. It'll continue to go on um, into the early part of next year, 2022, which means you still have time to do a number of things. If you're financially stable and you can pay on your loan, I would say do that. Now, I've seen a few things float around where, hey, save all of the money you would pay on that debt um, and just make a lump sum payment when right before the loans kick back in and interest starts up. And I understand the logic behind that because you're not losing anything in terms of interest because there's no interest accruing on it. I totally get that. Here's the other thing. Human behavior needs to be taken into account. Do you know how many times people have said, I'm going to set this aside and I won't touch it and um, I'll, I'll be sure to make, you know, have it ready when it's time to go. And then something always comes up, right? You deem something as an emergency and you use that money towards it. Like, I just got to have it. It's just a must have. And then when it's time for you to take care of business, you don't have that money anymore. I don't want to fall victim to that because I'm sure I could convince myself I need to use that money for something else versus me just having it then and there and paying on that loan then and there. That's how I choose to approach it. You absolutely don't have to approach it that way. It's how I'm approaching it. But if you have federal student loans, we still have that forbearance in place. So take advantage. Either use this time to stack savings if you are in a... Um, unstable financial position or if you're stable and blessed like myself i would say pay on it get the loans paid off and you know get your you know get one step closer to that freedom that's what i care about right now being free of these student loans so still a good day um this hat is amazing i absolutely love it and it fits perfect i really want the red one now <laughs> um also when you guys see me on instagram still posting pictures at talk style with that tj and it's not this hairstyle it's the other twist just know I'm getting these looks and pictures and fits off. So we're just going to ignore the random weird timeline that's messed up. Okay. And we just know that like this is real time and we might be living in the past a little bit, but be sure to engage and let me know what you think about those posts. So uh, if this video helped at all, you get through knowing you are not alone with the frustration of that fear of God essentials drop today. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I truly appreciate it. And as always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace out.